Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna cook up some beet greens. Look at these lovely beets we got. We were looking for uh, some fresh produce yesterday, and we found these beets with the greens attached. Whenever you're looking for beets, you know, if you can find it with some nice greens, then you definitely wanna buy it. They're already starting to look a little less excited today than they did yesterday. So we're gonna end up with two different kinds of meals. These beets look fantastic, so we're gonna roast them at some point. But today we're going to make the beet greens because you have to use these pretty quick. You know, these aren't going to last for very long. These here will last a little while, but these here is going to be today's dinner. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to whack a doodle these things off of here. Boom, boom. So, so I've got some nice beets for later. And I'm going to go ahead and give my greens a wash. Beet greens, fresh kale, collards, anything like that. You want to give them a good wash. You can see, you can see the dirt, you know. So if you can buy some clean greens, muy fantastico for you. Definitely check them out. You don't want to get any gritty dirt in your meal, so give them a good washing. All right, so our greens are nice and clean now. So now what I want to do is I want to separate the actual leafy green from the stem. And I'll just do that by hand because the cooking times for the greens and the stems are going to be different. Alrighty, so now I've got my stems and my greens separated and I'm going to go ahead and tear my greens up just by hand so they'll have a nice rustic look. And then we're going to add these greens near the end of the dish. And my stems, I'll just give it a little choppy chop. And you can chop these into whatever size you like. So I got my beets prepped, and I'm gonna do a very simple dish. I'm just gonna cook these greens up with a little bit of onion and garlic. I'm we'll gonna put a little bit of light olive oil in here. Not a whole lot of oil. We'll give our skillet a few moments to heat up. And we're gonna keep this recipe super duper simple. Just a few ingredients, very little seasoning. You know, so we'll get the natural flavor of these greens. I think we're hot enough right now. We're just going to start off with our onions first. Give those a few minutes head start, or a couple of minutes. And this is my first day cooking on this stove. We're in a new kitchen at a new house sit, you know, because we're always traveling around. So uh, if you want to check out our house sitting videos, uh, go on over to our travel channel. Have a link down below. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw in my beet stems. And the stems aren't very thick but they still need a little bit more time than the greens. And the total cooking time for this dish is only gonna be about five or six minutes. We're not gonna cook the death out of these. See how it colors up those onions? Because even though we're not eating the beet bulbs, you know, you're still gonna have that vibrant beet color, which can be very frightening, you know, the next day or whatever schedule your system's on, you know, you just, you know, you see something, you think, oh, am I dying? And that light bulb goes off over your head and it's like, no. I just had some beets, I'll probably live. And I'm going super duper light on the seasoning. I just got a little hot pepper and a little bit of garlic salt. I'll throw a little black pepper in here too. Now I'm gonna throw my greens in here. And before I even start stirring these greens around, I'm just gonna give them a few moments, let them wilt up. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it, it's the beet dance. So those are softened up there. I got a little balsamic vinegar here. And then that's it. I'm gonna call it finito. So I'll go ahead and turn my burner off. And this is a great side dish for whatever you like. I've cooked up a little beans, so I'm gonna serve it with some beans. And then I'll just toss an egg on top. So I'll just throw a little bit here in a bowl. Put me a little beans in here, some beans and greens. That's a classic. One of my favorites. We'll just go ahead and top it with the egg. Boom, boom, boom. Look how perfecto that is. Some nice colorful Tommy Toes. What about just a little sprinkling of black pepper? Oh yeah. We turned our beet greens into a hipster dream. Is that a $15 bowl or an $18 bowl? 18, baby. I think so. Hipsters will pay $18 for anything with an egg on it. I'll just bust that up. Look at that. Ooh. I tell you, beans and greens is a great combo. And a yolky egg on top. Man, that makes for a super easy dish. Cook you up some sausage real quick. 
This is just a great side dish, these greens, but perfectly paired with beans. You know, super simple, basic recipe. I'll have a link down below if you want to check this recipe out over at myfoodchannel.com. All kinds of links down there. It's amazing. It's a potpourri of links. Go downstairs and explore. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.